guys welcome back today I have a whole bunch of cuttings that need to be planted so that's what I'm gonna be doing today <laughs> and then I also need to repot this guy because his water's draining out really fast I have a whole bunch of pots here from Goodwill oh and this one that I water marbled if you want to see that video it's a really fun one I had a great time <laughs> filling it look at this I have bought one of these pots for um, $3.99 and then this one I got for $1.99 so the way they price things just no rhyme or reason but for all of these plants I'm gonna be using the same soil it's just a bunch of miracle grow potting soil or indoor potting soil mixed with perlite first I'm going to do let me see these Cebu Blue cuttings. So these are some Cebu Blue cuttings. Their roots really aren't that big compared to <laughs> other plants that I have. Um, I think I'm gonna put them in one of these. This is kind of big, but oh well. So I'll just move that and put in some soil and let's put these babies in. I think I'm gonna have them angled like this. It's gonna grow in so nicely. I love to just like propagate my plants because it's like, wow, I raised you from before you had roots. And it makes me really happy to watch them root and just grow. I'm just gonna position this because the roots are kind of growing past where there's leaves. So I don't want to bury the leaves in dirt. So I'm just going to angle it like that. There we go. Look how adorable that is. Oh my gosh. I love baby plants too. They're so cute. So I'm going to give this to my friend because he really wants one. And he's been waiting for these cuttings to be ready. I'm just going to water this <laughs> with the water it was already sitting in. And he's ready to go. My job is done here. I can go live with someone else now. Okay, let me see if I can angle this better. Oh, there we go. Now you can see what I'm doing. Okay, now you can see my mess. Here's my first plant that I potted. Here's my Marble Queen cutting. Her roots are out of this world. <gasps> yes, this is what I like. Okay, we'll be putting her in here. Some dirt. I don't have a Marble Queen, so I got this cutting from my friend. So I guess I'm pretty much trading the Cebu Blue for this Marble Queen. When I first got this cutting, it's been, it's been planted for I mean, it's been sitting in that uh, vial trying to root for a long time. When I got it, it did not have all of these <laughs> leaves at all. It had maybe up to here. Like, this whole entire part was not part of the cutting. It only had like three leaves. And it just grew so much. So, I'm really glad about that. And now, she's gonna inhabit this... <laughs> crazy pot that I made <laughs> and hopefully I should have um I'm probably gonna cut this so that I can have more rooting so it could be a fuller plant but for now she looks beautiful like this and I'm happy <laughs> next I want to repot this because it's outgrowing its pot and then I wanted to put I like how it looks when it's like a really short bush and this thing just grows really tall really fast. So let me just show you this cutting here. Hold on, its roots. Oop, the roots are all really long, but it was on top. So the plant was like this tall and I do not want my plant to be that tall. I want it to be short and bushy. So I'm going to repot and I'm probably gonna cut it again and add the cuttings around it. Oh my gosh, I just watered this plant. 
this really happens too often. Yeah, all her roots are here at the bottom. I have this plant just sitting in a north facing window in my bathroom and she loves it there. So I'm not planning on moving her anytime soon, but I have a bunch of cuttings from this plant that need to be potted because <laughs> their roots are way too long and I don't know if I can ever untangle this. Ugh, there we go. So I'm just gonna stick these onto the, oh my gosh, these are such long roots. Wow. I'm gonna have to break this up. And at first this plant really hated me and it was doing really badly. Like it wasn't doing well at all. And now here it is just won't stop growing. <laughs> Even though I kind of need it to. These roots are just so delicate so. I don't want to harm harm it too much, although I know it will bounce back probably quickly. I think once you get the hang of it, this plant is very easy to care for. It's become one of my favorites. I feel like the plants that I struggled with in the beginning and then get kind of like, I find, kind of figure out what they want, those are the plants that I end up being like super happy about because it's like, Wow, you were a struggle child at first, and now you're just thriving. Those are my favorite kinds of plants. Although we do love ones that are not really dramatic, and you can just admire them without having to water them constantly, or be checking up on them all the time, because that can sometimes get a little bit too much. So let me add these plants on here. Are there any more? Oh, there, of course there's more. Of course there's more. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> She's a bush now. This is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Here's my beautiful, completely misshapen, bushy and full polka dot plant. I love how this turned out. She's so wonky and cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, here she goes next to the other friend. Um, oh my gosh, I forgot one. This one doesn't really have any roots though, so that's okay. We'll put it back. She'll continue rooting. Oh, here's my um here's my um spider plant that um I propagated, water propagated in my video. It's doing great. These water propagate so quickly. I'm just gonna put it in this now because its roots are gonna get thick. I still have this um, philodendron left, but I think uh, it really needs to be potted. But I think it's, it's fine for now. We'll just leave her until I get another pot. Here are my plants that I potted. Looking so cute. I'm not gonna water this one until its soil dries or it starts drooping because its its soil is already um, pretty wet and then I just need to water this this little lady. Hopefully she'll do really well because this is my only <laughs> uh, Marble Queen that I have and I need her to survive for my collection. Oh, I could also definitely repot my watermelon peperomia cuttings, but I think I'll do that in a separate video. So that'll be probably for an update on how that plant's doing. I don't want to give too much away, but it's doing a lot better. Okay, well, um, that's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Oh, let me know what your favorite plant is to propagate or what plant you're struggling to propagate because <clears throat> some of them are kind of slow. Like here I have my Hindu rope and she, she grew these new leaves. She grew those new leaves all on her own and grew these little roots out so I'm really excited about that because it has been rooting for I think like so long, like two months 
two months it's, I've been waiting for it to root and it's barely gotten that big. <laughs> so I'm super excited about that. I can't wait to pot that one up even though it's really tiny. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and hit subscribe because I post new videos every single day and I'll see you next time. Bye!